Right, so I've got this on the wall. I've just put one of the canisters there just to get an idea of how much clearance was required. I decided to uh, move the washing machine over slightly to the right so we've got plenty of room for, uh, for getting in here. A um, couple of things worth noting. Um, the cables on the TDS meter stupidly come out of the, the top. I can't imagine many people would want this uh, uh, TDS meter fitted below their RO unit, so it would have made sense to have the cables coming out of the bottom. However, um, the two supplied sticky Velcro pads uh, do leave enough room to get these flat cables um, you know, straight between them and out the bottom. They're not massively long, just long enough to do the job really. Um, obviously the longer the lead you start introducing uh, errors in the readings and things like that, but they are plenty long enough. Um, <clears throat> the other thing I thought was a bit strange, considering how well put together everything else is, this, uh, this little switch here is just left hanging there. Uh, it looks like it's a water pressure switch because there's just one pipe coming into it and uh, cables obviously uh, coming out. Let me just focus that, there we go. So I shall be putting some uh, cable ties around that. It doesn't seem to be very sensible just to leave it like that. Uh, again, it all depends on how much this uh, pump vibrates. Uh, the actual whole unit um, is fairly <laughs> flexible on this back unit. Although they supply uh, five screws, uh, only two are actually used uh, here and here. Um, I don't think I missed anything anywhere else, but yeah, so there's only two holding it, which isn't an issue in my case. I've got wooden battens going through here, uh, so that's absolutely fine. Uh, the only other thing I noticed at this stage, um, if I can focus on that, there's quite a uh, tight bend in the pipe here. Again, I don't know whether this is quite focused, but you can see that it's actually quite tight on this metal slot here. Um, so, you know, again, depending on vibration, etc., over time, you might find that that starts to wear into the plastic pipe. Um, that could have done with being a fraction longer, really. Um, so something to bear in mind, I think. Um, and for anyone who hasn't seen this type of connection before, uh, let me go back to this. Uh, this is where the water comes in. Uh, it's obviously got this blanking plate in there, which of course you can't pull out. But all you need to do is pull out this plastic... I don't think I'm going to be able to do this <laughs> with one hand, unfortunately. But with a nail or something like that, whatever you can get in there, just pull out the blue plastic clip. It's shaped like that and just clips over. So you can pull it out, but I don't think I'm going to... Oh, there we go. With a thumbnail, I've just pulled that out. And, and then that will allow you to... Okay, let me see if I can focus this. You can just push that white piece in. And uh, that will allow you... There you go, that's gone in. And that will allow you to pull out the pipe or whatever's in there. Okay, and then just push it, push the pipe, whatever, fully in. Pull the plastic back out. Like that, and push the clip back in. I can't really see this through the camera, but you get the idea. I don't know whether if you... Oh, there we go. That's it. And now that is absolutely solid in there. So we've got water coming in. RODI water coming out and then the waste coming out of here and hopefully down into the waste pipe. So yeah, just a couple of points on the TDS meter, the fact that that uh, switch is loose and quite a tight uh, angle just, uh, just on that white pipe uh, there. So yeah, I'll carry on with the installation and, uh, and update you in a while.